Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so this is part two of my yellow and orange drawer of my Helmers, all the polishes that I've already worn. Um, these are my yellows. Um, I ended up having to just break up the video. If you watched my orange, you already know this. I had to break up the video because it was just too long. So excuse this strange intro. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I had to move over my yellows. Okay, now for my yellows. Now some of these have a little bit of like a green quality to them, but I house them with my yellow so that they don't get lost with all my greens because I have two drawers of greens and only like half of a drawer of yellow. So I don't want them to get lost, like I said, with my greens. So I house them with my yellows. And as long as they have like a yellow undertone, so although they may look like a murky green, they definitely have a yellow undertone. Um, so I keep them with my yellows. Lots of like mustard pruglies here. That's pretty much the only types of yellow that I wear. Although I am branching out now of with my yellows. Anyways, all right. So the first one we have is Espressi, Espressi Taxi Hopping. So good. Beautiful formula. Has like a, a slight pruggly quality to it. Okay, then we have, this is a regular yellow. This one is an Espressi. This is Shook. And I got this because I'm trying to branch out from yellows. And I did really enjoy this. I believe I, I want to say I wore this on my toes. I can't quite remember if I wore it on my toes or my nails. But either way, I did really enjoy this yellow. Okay, then we have my happy base. Not my happy bass, my happy base. I love this polish, it's so good. This one definitely has like a green quality to it, but it's, like I said, yellow undertones. It's like a murky, yellowy green, so good, love it. Okay, then we have a mustard. This is LA Colors Summer Field, so good. I have a lot of mustard yellows, but they all have like a slightly different quality like this one has just a tiniest tinge of green it's not green in any like it's not like my happy base all right and the lighting bad lighting is coming across that they're the same but they're definitely not the same um but like i was saying all my mustards that i have they all have a slightly different quality to them slightly different undertone a little more green than this one a little more yeah you know you get the picture um, OPI's Marigold Hour, Hour, I love this one, so good, beautiful. Can't remember how I wore it, but I loved it. Really good formula. Then we have, I love this one, um, Painted Polish Mystery Crelly Quatre, Quarter, Quarter, Quarter maybe? I got this one twice. I got this one from, in the swaps, I got this from Carolina, and I got this from Nicole, and I loved it so much, I decided to give one to Barb, and then we ended up twinning with this. I love this. It's another one of those just like my skin tone, fleshy colors with gorgeous flakes. I have another one that I actually just shared in my April Manny, so I'll just pull it out and show you now. Rogue Lacquer's Les Poissons, Les Poissons. Got this from Hello Ham and Creations. See, they're similar. It's got that same kind of like beigey flesh tone base. This one has like pinky, purple, kind of like rainbow flakies. And this one has little black and red flakies. So cool. So interesting. I just, I love them. They're like, like zombie, zombie, zombie hands. Gives me zombie nails. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, then we have Nine Zero's Pineapple Punch. This is bright yellow. This has a pretty good formula too. I haven't worn this one in a few years because bright neon yellows, as much as I love yellows, like mustards, bright neon yellows, and I love, like it's weird, like I love neon, so I love wearing like, I'll wear neon greens on my nails, neon orange, like I love wearing neons, but for some reason neon yellow, like highlighter yellow makes me very uncomfortable. So I never really wear this. I should probably declutter it, but I don't know. Okay, my tastes are always changing and evolving, so I don't want to get rid of polishes that, you know, someday I, I might end up loving. All right, Rogue Lacquer Cactus Flower. So pretty, it's like a mustard yellow. It's got all those gorgeous, gorgeous flakies. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Okay, then we have Different Dimensions Buttersweet Symphony. Wow, I used to wear this all the time before I had too many polishes. I ha I've had this for years, so good. So it has a beautiful formula. I don't think I've ever even had to thin this out. Okay, then we have China Glaze Mustard of Courage. So good, really nice formula. So I'm trying to speed along, this video is getting long. Um, Night All Lacquer, This Is Me Now, love this. 
it's like a bright mustard not like not like a deep mustard but like a french's mustard like what you think of the actual um condiment and then it's got those gorgeous green flakies so good this is so so beautiful if this is still on their website which i don't i don't know if it is but if it is and you can get this i highly recommend it okay another favorite this is painted polish garbage glow up got this one from polish pickup look at that it's so gorgeous it's like a murky yellowy olive and it's got those gorgeous orange glowing flakes so so beautiful beautiful i have another one that's similar by emily damali they're different though um, i actually did a comparison when i bought this emily damali enjoy the fall so pretty this one definitely has more green to it. it has a lot more olive green to it this one's more like a like a mustard khaki whereas this one's more like a mustard murky green like an olive and then they both have those gorgeous glowing flakes but this one has like bigger brighter flakes and this one has smaller ones both beautiful polishes but definitely different and i'm so glad that i have them both this was a hard favorite again i have night out gorgeous very pretty soft and dainty it's got the little teeny tiny cut up flakies that adds just kind of like a beautiful glow um then we have lmp sparks may fly love this mani this is so good i believe this is when i did a twin i can't remember i did a twin with um sheila i can't remember if we wore sparks may fly or if we wore legacy i feel like we wore sparks may fly this one is so beautiful it's got like a yes i'm pretty sure it was this one because it's got like a beautiful almost like root beer quality to it it's so gorgeous and then since i'm holding it um, legacy has more of like a mustardy yellow base to it and it's got all those gorgeous little hollow shimmers so good they're both so good they're coming across kind of similar on camera but they're definitely different and see how that one this one has that gorgeous glow to it beautiful i love them iron p is so good and they're so underrated i'm gonna have caramel um kale polish peanut butter love this one everyone loves um everyone loves caramello but i prefer peanut butter now she before this brand went out of business she always said peanut butter was like caramello's cousin or sister i always prefer peanut butter i like them both amazing formulas i just prefer peanut butter there you go both really nice okay another favorite this is edk delorean got this from polish pickup so good you guys so beautiful i love those kind of like murky flakies so good it's another one that's kind of got like a beigey formula like a, a beigey base so good loved it okay night owl lacquer cozy sweater so beautiful i wore this with mustard undies one year and it was one of my favorite manis of the year so so good Look at that, look at those flakes, absolutely beautiful. And then we have Night Owl Lacquer in Mustard Bin Love. Really nice formula. Their creams are really nice, they have um, good formulas. Okay, then we have simple, I have simple Colors Chamomile Calm. Beautiful, I love this, it has an amazing formula. I really love this um, like color. I wore this as undies once for, um, the DeLorean. I wore this on its own and then I wore this together. It was really nice. Okay, and then we have Fair Maiden's Nail Soup. So, so beautiful. This one has like a sheer jelly formula, so I don't put this with my glitters because it's got that jelly base. This one is so good as a topper or on its own, built up in like three coats. So good. Amazing. One of my very favorite Fair Maidens. Then we have Expressi, another Expressi. This one is Don't Hate Curate. So good. Beautiful, beautiful formula. This one is a yellow with a tiny drop of orange. Most of my yellows have like a drop of green. This one has a drop of orange and it's really good. Oh, this one is an orange. That one got mixed in with to my yellows. That one's an orange. <laughs> okay, Ion P Spiced Eggnog. So pretty. I've had this one for years. This is one of my very first Ion P. So pretty, it's got those little teeny tiny cut up red flakies, dainty flakies, so good. Okay, then we have Colors to Carol Sweetie Pie. I went back and forth on getting this. This one had such good reviews and the pictures looked 
really interesting, but I had a feeling that this was gonna, I don't know, it was gonna clash with my skin tone. I wasn't quite sure in the beginning it. It is pretty. I don't I don't quite remember how I feel about it. I feel like I'm I need to wear this one more time to really decide how I feel about this. Um, but I think from what I remember that it kind of didn't look good on me. So I have to wear it. I'm like fumbling on what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna have to wear this with undies one more time so I can see how I feel about it and then I'll, I might end up decluttering. It is really unique though. I don't really have any other yellows quite like this one. Okay, then we have sassy pants. Have toilet paper, you will not. I love this, it's so pretty. This one's got, this one's more like a gold but I don't wanna put it in with my neutrals cause it'll get lost with my neutrals. It is kind of like a yellowy gold. I don't know, I probably should just put this in with my my neutrals to go in with my golds but it does kind of have that weird kind of like murky quality to it and it's got those beautiful beautiful flakies really enjoyed this one okay then we have olive av lemon blossom very very pale pale yellow like a whitened yellow terrible terrible formula i forget how i wore this i think i wore um i own p empress over it with like little their little pink flaky topper dainty pink dainty flaky topper and it was really pretty but this definitely needs to have some kind of topper to mask <clears throat> the terrible formula okay then we have bleed polish what is this one called bet on us so good i love this one it's a yellow with just a little drop of green it has a really nice formula too does this have a good formula i can't remember if this one is one of the ones that has a, a better formula um bleed polish some of them are terrible formulas some of them are pretty decent formulas um, this one, I can't quite remember if it had a good formula, but if it didn't, it's worth it. And it, I do know that it, the end result was nice, so it levels out nicely. Okay, and then we have Enchanted Polish, one of my favorite, favorite polishes, Sci-Fi. This is so good. I was lucky enough to get this shortly before they announced that they were going out of business. So I got this, and then shortly after that, they announced that they were going out of business, and I went back and I bought a bunch of other polishes. This is amazing. It's like a mustardy yellow and it's chock full of little black speckles and silver speckles and it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this polish. It's just amazing. It's one of the most beautiful polishes I have. I can have Blush Lacquer's Positronic Brain. I love this one. It's like a split pea. Split pea um, with tiny, 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 I think they're tiny tiny cut up flakies i can't quite tell if they're tiny tiny shimmer particles like tiny hollow particles or if they're tiny cut up flakies it's hard to tell but either way it's beautiful and you see how it, you can see the the yellow at the bottom so you know that it's yellow based okay then we have nine zero corn maze beautiful formula on this amazing almost done um bees knee um zoya's honey I was so excited about this, and then we did a group mani with this. Everyone wore honey. You guys, it's beautiful. The formula is amazing, but I'm not quite sure if I love this on my skin tone. It's I don't know how to really describe it. I don't know if it's got like a drop of a tiny drop of orange in it. I can't quite tell. It's got like a tiny drop of something in it, and I just didn't. I wore what I wear over this. I definitely wore, I want to say I wore Batsy. I wore Rogue Lacquer's Batsy, a black topper over this. And I did like the final result, but I was, you know, I still was quite unsure if I loved it. I'm going to insert that picture. You guys let me know what you think of the picture and if it goes well with my skin tone. Um, then we have Mystery Polish Camellia. I got this from Barb and I love this. Barb got it from Sheila so good and the formula on this was amazing this is just beautiful absolutely love this crowley so so good I'm almost done just have five more polishes um then we have different dimensions alternative look at that it's so good so beautiful then we have grunge another murky olive green with those gold Tiny, um, are they flakes or they're, yeah, there's like little tiny, tiny cut up gold flakes. So pretty. I love these like grungy, murky polishes. Then we have Believe Golden Girl. This one is so interesting. This has a really unique undertone to it. Really pretty. I enjoyed that one. 
And we have Cirque, Cirque Colors Beatnik, love this one. So beautiful, it's like another one of those murky, murky yellowy greens. And then the last one is Hayride by Olive Polish, all of that polish. This one is like a, I don't know, it's like a hybrid between orange and yellow. And almost, it's got like a brown quality to it too. All right guys, sorry, this was a very long video. Um, next up will be the first of my green drawers. So keep an eye out for that one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.